guys and welcome back to Sheikah's VSG Life. If this is your first time here, my name is Sheikah. I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on December 20th of 2017. I lost a total of 170 pounds and I'm currently sitting angrily at 158.9 pounds as of this morning. Today is what, January 12th? of 2018 so I am officially a year and almost one month post-op so almost 13 months post-op that's exciting so with it being the 12th it's been a little while since I've uploaded a video I think I uploaded a video the day after my one year I've been promising that I would upload more videos so this is a little early it's better than my one a month right I'm gonna try to do um I don't want to promise by anybody anything, but I'm going to try to do a video a week. This video is just going to be my meal prep for the week. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm making for breakfast, um, what I'm making for lunch, and what I'm making for dinner. The breakfast stuff I'm going to prep four days, the lunch stuff four days, and the dinner stuff four days. I have noticed that um, meal prepping, once you get to like the fifth day, the food is not delicious anymore. So I am fresh from the gym and I'm doing this while I have the energy to do so because if I go lay down, I'm not going to do anything. So um, first and foremost, let me show you guys what I actually got to cook this week. All right, so let's get to my haul for the week. So a lot of this stuff, honestly, I think everything up here except for the protein bars, I got from a store called Aldi. I don't know what stores you guys have on your sides of the country, but with me being in Florida, one of our cool bargain stores is Aldi. Um, I love Aldi. I got all of this plus like some things, um, some other stuff that, I'm not gonna put in the vlog. All of it came up to less than $50. So I got shrimp, I got some grapes, I got smoked oysters, which are my fave. Um, I found this turkey gravy that I'm really excited about. Um, the camera will focus. And it has um, four carbs per serving. Um, I also got these protein bars. I got these from GNC yesterday. They were buy five, get one free, and they were like two bucks a piece. Guys, it tastes like you're eating a Rice Krispie Treat. I 100% recommend these. I got some cheese sticks. I got some bananas that aren't ripe yet because I'm going to eat them later in the week. I got two types of bacon. So I got the fully cooked kind for snacks. And then I got the regular kind for my breakfast. I got this giant thing of yogurt. I got um, three different types of fruit. The other fruit I put in the freezer. I got these turkey burgers. I got some gluten-free granola. I got some green... Um, pea crisp for some snacks. I also got some rice cauliflower. I got the version that you can freeze. I had been getting the fresh kind, but being a bariatric patient, you don't eat it fast enough, so it would always go bad. I also got this vegetable medley, and then right now I'm currently um, pan searing some chicken and I'm boiling some eggs. I'm also going to make some fish once the chicken is done but I will show you guys that process in just a second. So I wanna show you guys a little bit of what I have going on right now. So I have these chicken breasts that look amazing. I got these mixed veggies, um, and I'll go over, like there's peas in them, sweet peas, cauliflower, broccoli. My eggs are still boiling, but I'm pretty sure they're done. So I used two things to cook with today. The coconut oil, I use that for the veggies. And it's the same coconut oil I've been using since like two months post-op. And then I use Pam for the chicken. I love Pam because zero carbs, zero calories, whole bunch of zeros. I don't know why my camera won't focus today. But yeah, so yeah, a bunch of zeros. So I removed the vegetables from this pan and I have heated it back up to medium high. And I'm going to cook my cauliflower in the same skillet that I cooked my veggies in. Honestly, it's to give it flavor because I don't use a lot of salt. So, there we go. So, while everything is cooking, I want to tell you guys about what I am making for um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner today. So, for breakfast, it's a two-parter. I'm going to have a hard-boiled egg and two slices of bacon, and then I'm making a parfait. Mm. Sorry, I had an extra piece of chicken, so and I haven't eaten dinner yet. So here's my dinner. For lunch, I'm gonna alternate between chicken and veggies and cauliflower. 
and then a turkey burger veggies and cauliflower i'm trying to get myself to eat more cauliflower not that i hate it it's just better for me i thought about having quinoa and then i looked at how many carbs is in that shit no thanks i don't really know what quinoa is and honestly it tastes like balls so um as far as my snacks go i'm gonna have grapes um, a banana or one of my protein bars. So I'm making turkey burgers in a couple of minutes. Um, right now I'm just waiting for the cauliflower to finish. And the turkey burgers are going to have turkey gravy poured on top of them. And I'm going to use my air fryer for my fish. So I'm getting a little wild tonight. But you guys are in for a treat because I promised you a video. God, I make the best chicken. Mm. All right, so this is the air fryer I have. It's a Power um, Air Fryer XL. Um, Sean got this from Macy's, and I got it for Christmas right after I had weight loss surgery. So I've had this for like a year. Um, I'm going to open it up right now and spray it with a little Pam. The Pam is so that my fish don't stick. Spray enough, guys. Because it will stick. And when you um, put this in here, the air fryer turns on. And then you press power. And then I'm going to turn it, I'm going to preheat it for 10 minutes. And I'm going to turn it up to 400. And then press power again. And that's where we are. We are at 400 for 10 minutes. So in 10 minutes, it'll be warm enough for me to put my fish in. And by then, my fish and my turkey burger should be thawed. So I have a couple of my lunches set up. I'm going to pour the juice for my veggies on top of the cauliflower Alright, so I've done my breakfast. Like I said, it's going to be the hard-boiled egg and the two pieces of bacon. And then right now I'm working on my parfaits, which are freaking adorable. I have plain yogurt down here. And then there are some raspberries, some strawberries, some blueberries. And I think that's it. So those are those little cute things. Alright guys, so here's a lineup for the week. I have two turkey burgers with turkey gravy and broccoli. I have two pieces of tilapia, about four ounces, with broccoli. I also have some pan-seared chicken, some rice cauliflower, and some mixed veggies, and all of these. My breakfast, as I said, is a hard-boiled egg with bacon, two pieces of bacon, one hard-boiled egg. And then my other part of my breakfast, or my little snack on some days, is my parfait that I made from home. Um, it's literally one scoop of granola, a little handful of mixed fruit and then some yogurt i'm also trying to get in about 90 ounces of water today today i got 120 ounces so i'm doing pretty good but that is it for me and here is the entire setup for the week guys meal prepping is not hard if you just have some patience this entire process making all like five of these meals took me about 45 minutes and I also made dinner in between that as well. So what I've noticed um, watching a lot of these videos and the questions and comments that I get from you guys on my Instagram and on my YouTube is that a lot of you guys are intimidated by meal prepping. You should not be intimidated by meal prepping, especially being a bariatric patient. You know what you can and can't have and you know what you like and what you don't like. I know with a lot of people, the biggest issue dealing with this is um, honestly getting bored. So I like to switch up what I'm eating each week. Notice that although some of my meals had the same main course, I swapped up the vegetables and I tried to throw some snacks in there. And I didn't show you guys my whole meal prep because my snacks are going to include sugar-free jello, sugar-free pudding. I also have cheese sticks. Um, I eat a handful of pistachios and I have carrots as well. So uh, when I put my whole lunch together, I'll probably post it on Instagram so you guys can see what I'm eating throughout the day. With the meal prep that I did um, today for the week, I typically hit about 65 to 70 grams of protein a day and about 25 to 30 carbs. Like I said my goal for the week is 100 ounces of water, um, 70 grams of protein per day, and trying to keep my carbs below 40. Um, I don't really um, watch my macros as much as other people do being a year post-op. I'm kind of in the maintenance stage, but I am very picky about my calories. So I don't go over 1200 calories a day unless I'm working out. So today I worked out. 
so I'm probably gonna eat about 1400 calories which seems like a lot but pre-op that was one meal for me um, tonight for dinner, I have some pulled pork and some sugar-free barbecue sauce on slices of cheese. Um, I made Sean an actual pulled pork sandwich, so he got like bread and stuff. But that's pretty much it for me. Let me know what else you guys want to see from this channel. It's weird being a year post-op because I don't really know what to do now. I originally made this channel as just a way of kind of like journaling my experience from um, pre-op to post-op. And now that I'm here at the end, I'm just kind of like, what do I do now? But that's it for me. I'm really hot. I need to get out of these sweaty clothes because I came straight from the gym to cook and I need to eat. But thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. Make sure you subscribe if you're not. I love subscribers. You guys can follow me on Instagram at Sheikah's VSG Life. Or you can email me at sheikahsvsgjourney at gmail.com. I always respond to emails. I will send you recipes. I will send you my pre-op and post-op um, food plans. I love it. Um, I also have a bariatric cookbook. This cookbook helped me so much, you guys. It helped me so much during my first seven or eight months of surgery. It has chapters for each stage that you're in. But that's it for me. I hope you guys have an amazing week and be blessed and be a blessing. Bye.